Alright, so carrying on from part one, here we're going to try and put together the material needed for part two. And this is for the merit, and so just to emphasize this again, um, you need to make sure that you've used units throughout uh, to get full credit for this. And one of the questions that's asked of us is to find the total area, because we need to know how much grass seed is needed to make grass throughout the park. So we found the area of triangle one, 617.074. We found the area of triangle 2 to be 973.98 meters squared. And when we add those two together, we get 1591.05 um, roughly meters squared. And I'm going to round this to 1591 meters squared. And I'm going to say this because I need to include information like this if I'm going for excellence this idea that 0 0.05 meters squared is very small and can be ignored. There should be enough grass to cover everything else. There's certain situations where even with that little bit over you're going to have to round up, but here we're just going to say we're going to leave that off. So the grass we discovered, um, they need 45 grams for every meter square, so we're going to go 45 grams of grass seed times 1591 meters squared, and that's going to get us um, 7, 000, sorry, 71,595 grams, and to convert grams to kgs, this becomes roughly 71.6 rounding kgs of grass. And again, neatness matters, so make sure you um, label your answer there that is grass needed. Okay. The next thing that they want to know is we're putting paver stones around the entire park so we need to know our perimeter and to get to the perimeter again that's just the distance around the outside of the shape. So our perimeter is 60.26 plus 80 plus 65 plus 42 adding up all the way around and you get roughly 247.26 meters. And I should say really that if you're um, getting things slightly different than me in terms of rounding, that's okay as long as it's reasonable. So the pavers, um, we were told that they are 25 centimeters long each. So for me, that means that I've got four pavers in one meter and this is 247.26 meters. So I'm going to look at that and say, well, in the 247 times the 4 that I need for each meter, that's going to get me to 988 pavers. And I'm also going to do the plus 1 for the 0 0.26 meters, because that's roughly 25 centimeters. That's about right. So it should kind of work in. So the total number of pavers that we would need then, if I can scroll down, would be 988 plus 1, so 989 pavers needed. So that gets us through to the merit of this, if you can get the amount of grass correctly and the number of pavers needed. And again, don't forget your units. Kilograms of grass needed and pavers, just counting the pavers basically. And again, watch your rounding when it's important and when it's not. So in this case, I decided to just leave off the 0 0.5 of a meter because, or meter square, because I figured there's enough grass to kind of compensate for that anyways. But in the case of pavers, if I don't include that 0.26 of a meter, there's going to be one spot around the park without a paver, like one missing spot. So make sure that you think about that and describe any, any reasoning that you have, like how I did my working here for this. And if you've put your answer in decimals, like if you just did 247.26 times 4 and you came up with some sort of decimal for yourself, uh, that's not really going to cut it because we want to, basically we're dealing with whole pavers, so you want to round them to whole numbers in this case, unless you know that you can have half a paver, or if you're assuming that, making sure that you're writing out in your answer and an extra half a paver to fill in the gap or anything like that. So be really clear about what you intend your answer to be.